Niggers ain't shit. Fuck Bill O'Reilly. Fuck Sean Hannity. Fuck all niggers. Fuck Adolph Rupp. So downtown Louisville, right? There's Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson County. It's all one big um, city county government. It's all together. Here we got Gothic style city hall. And this uh, statue, actually, I, was, <laughs> I read something about this statue. It's a King Louis statue here, and uh, King Louis the Sixteenth. He's a uh, a tyrant, and um, he was a French imperialist tyrant who. Even the the French people didn't like. They chopped off his his fucking head. So it's King Louis the Sixteenth. This is what uh, Louisville is named after. Here at Ninth and Broadway. This is the L and N building. It has a huge L and N on the side of it. Um, it's a historical building. It's right now just a, it's a government building. Is where uh, welfare offices are, food stamps, and um, some other things. But I wanted to mention it because L and N is historical. So L and N, you had Basil W. Duke and John Hunt Morgan of the Confederacy, who was burning and tearing up the railroad tracks of the L and N Railroad um, all throughout Kentucky, Tennessee, and Ohio. And what was ironic and fucked up, I mean, it's Stockholm Syndrome. Basil W. Duke eventually becomes the chief lobbyist for the LNN. And so since he's the chief lobbyist for the LNN, he basically just fell in love with his oppressor. Right? When you get down the fiddle and you get down the bowl, kick off your shoes and you throw them on the floor, dance in the kitchen till the morning light, Louisiana Saturday night. This is downtown James Brown, Louisville, Kentucky, right? Chocolate city of Kentucky, largest city. 17th largest city, actually, or 27th. I don't know. It's in the top 30, right? It's some sort of prison. You can tell by the little tiny windows. There's a big, tall office building. This is the statue, you know, that was given to us like in 1829. This statue was, was made, and uh, the, or actually it says it was uh, sculpted in 1827. And so the second French Revolution almost destroyed this statue. So this statue ne almost never got to to uh, Louisville. So that's King Louis, right? He's got those Dominic eyes. You can't even see his eyes, pupils and shit. It's fucked up. Got a saber and all these flowing gowns. Um, right, this, this is what represents Louisville. <laughs> it's actually kind of shitty. Oh, that's better. Some corrections officer. Metropolitan Department of Corrections. There's the jail. I wonder if this is jail where Adrian Reynolds is murdered. Used to be PNC actually. My brother Bill and my other brother Jack. Billy full of beer and a possum in a sack. Fucking uh, the railroads, you don't fuck with the railroads. Railroads get away with any fucking thing that they want to. And so, the uh, you know, at one point he was like 
you know, a, a guerrilla terrorist or what have you. See, there's the L and N building. He was a, a terrorist, you know, burning the place up, and then he just started to fall in love with his master, um, his oppressor. So it's Stockholm syndrome, right? You're burning the, their uh, all their stuff, and then you're the chief lobbyist. And Basil W. Duke was a complete fucking asshole. Uh, Basil W. Duke, you know, they fought for the Confederacy too, but then he started fighting for the railroad company. So he's fighting for plantation owners, and then he's fighting for big conglomerate corporations uh, in in favor of them getting richer and the poor working classes get poor. So, yeah, fuck Basil W. Duke. And um, I don't want to say fuck the railroads because there is some use, but they say don't fuck with the railroads. So I don't like how they have a sort of a monopolistic hold on governments. Especially when you have sitting at a track and it just sits there, right? The train just sits in the track and you, what are you going to do? You have to drive all the way around. This is 64 West, right? And uh, I like this interstate here. Actually, driving up this interstate, the one that's above us, it's fun to do too. I might actually want to do that one better because I think it's got a better um, perspective of things. So you have two bridges over on this side, right? You got two bridges right here, and they're working on new bridges. And you also got this big ass bridge right here. Which is a, a railroad bridge, right? Buck two, drive 500 miles just to get to where you need to go. That's some bullshit. So here's some, here's a, a little some artwork here. All right, this Louisville artwork. That's what Louisville considers art. <laughs> you got this downtown Louisville here, all these different buildings and shit. I'm gonna keep this running because I love how this, uh, I love going up this ramp. And so I'm gonna go up this ramp. That's what I'm gonna go do. I'm going to, <laughs> and I say it's it's fucking cooler than what I'm gonna make it out to be because you can see all the bridges and shit um, from the left and the right side. And this this work truck is on the side of me, so I'm not for sure if he gonna he gonna let me do my thing. Um, yeah, I should get into his lane. He might block my fucking beautiful fucking path. Um, I think I'll come back here, actually. This is the, my old neighborhood. It's on 32nd, and the cross street here is Woodland. And uh, this is where Derek Bonds and uh, his friend Jordan, this is where they lived. I lived right here on the right-hand side. You got the, you know, here's the neighborhood. So the third house on the left-hand side here that's where Derek Barnes lives, right there in that old house. And then on this side, you got, um, that's where Jordan lives, right there on that, that second house going back behind me. So, yeah. The electrical grid here. I don't know, I'm just kind of getting anything and everything that feels significant. There's an old lady in walking stick some sort of a electrical grid some some electric thing I'm not for sure maybe hydro hydroelectric <laughs> I don't even know what this fucking place is I don't know what these things are you know I've been living next to these things and I don't even know what they are come on, come on brother so here's the interstate I just came from right this is uh, Portland, you got Dairy Queen, you got Shell, you got Marathon, um, welcome to so L&N Railroad. This would have been a, a bridge that Basil Duke and the uh, Confederates would have tried to blow up or tried to set on fire or, you know, they would destroy it. So they would blow this bridge up and then after the war they would work for the company, you know, the L&N company. So they would, be, they would destroy the shit and then they would be working for them. It's kind of like Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, you know, the, the criminal turns into the employee.
Jones. I I don't know if I respect that or not. Um, so you know, this is a, a cool shot. I thought it was. <laughs> Maybe even better if I was actually there. The river. Some old pass in the interstate. There's some church. There's a church out there. Just a bunch of houses and shit. <laughs> The historic Portland founded in 1811. Louisville was founded in 1828. That's when they got the charter for the from the legislature. And uh, so 1811, Portland was founded. Here's the Family Health Centers on the right. Family Health Center. It's a big ass, actually, fucking medical facility. So that's that's good. The Portland people are getting to. Uh, get some medical care, right? It's always a good, good thing. Here's a museum for Portland, right? Historic Portland, it's, um, it's being overrun by vines and shit. I don't know if anybody's checking out the museum. In fact, Portland used to be its own city. This, this gentleman here, he says he's got hand-dipped ice cream flavors and shit. He had no fucking ice cream when I went there, so that's a nice false advertisement walk in. So Shut off my electric? Has to do in the winter time. I'm gonna. How am I gonna? For warmth, call, it's winter. Call LG&E. I'm sorry. Call LG&E. That's some bullshit, man. That's LG&E. Yeah. Merry Christmas to you. Mm -hmm. Fucking asshole. Get on out of here. Get out of here. Where's, you know, where's these fucking ice cream and all the flavors? He's like, I, I ain't got none. <laughs> and he looked at me like I was stupid. I'm like, man, you got fucking neon lights. Neon lights that say you got ice cream over there. So, um, this is, uh, you know, this is Portland. So, there's boarded up house here. So, these houses need to be bought. And someone needs to start living in them. Especially since we got all these fucking homeless people. I heard that there's 22 empty houses in America for every homeless person. So it just shows our priorities. We rather care. We care more about property than we do people. Over here is the Baptist Church, uh, the Shawnee Baptist Church, and um, they got reformers unanimous. They got addiction program and shit. 